Hello Linux fans, welcome to another episode of Quest Byte News where we share just a bite of news from the Linux world. Alright, let's jump into some things here. So some new releases and things like that. FFmpeg 3.2 Open Source Multimedia Framework has been officially released. So on October 27th, it says a new or major new version of the powerful free cross-platform and open source FFmpeg Multimedia Framework was released. Of course, that covers uh, support for GNU Linux, Mac OS X, and Microsoft Windows. They go on to say that it is considered stable, well-tested, and ready for production. So, uh, nice to see uh, new releases there. And let's jump over to another story here that, uh, for those of you who like to keep up with the Linux kernel, so Linus made a few notes here. Uh, it looks like he released these notes on Saturday. Uh, Linux 4.9 release candidate 3. He goes on to talk about a bug that they thought uh, was due to virtually mapped stacks during the release candidate 2. Turns out it wasn't the case that uh, virtually mapped stacks were not the culprit there. Um, so he goes on to talk about how people turned off the new feature, but it wasn't. They weren't actually avoiding it all. It at all. So uh, kind of interesting there. So not many people were affected by that. This is primarily if you were doing stress testing or something like that. Talks about other fixes as well as usual random driver fixes, arch updates, etc. So that is it for Linux 4.9 release candidate 3. Now I like to share in Quest Byte News anytime I come across an interesting or fun article I like to share that with you and of course I'll have the links to these particular articles and updates in the video notes. So this is a great read from Wired. Now it comes from a couple months back here. Linux took over the web, now it's taking over the world. This is a fun read and I'll give you a little teaser here. On August 25th, 1991, a Finnish computer science student named Linus Torvalds announced a new project. I'm doing a free operating system, he wrote on an internet messaging system, insisting this would just be a hobby. And you go on here, and again, I'm not going to give away much here, but you get the idea. So they go across here further back than 25 years. Nice photo here of Linus himself. Uh, they, they go back here in 1984. Richard Stallman started working on GNU. Uh, they talk about Microsoft uh, here as uh, being the... Uh, sworn enemy of Linux uh, in the web section and so again we'll have the links here it's a it's a fun and interesting read and it really just kind of for me it, it took me back to wow how far Linux has really come so uh, a fun read we'll put that in there now another thing I like to do in Quest Byte News and I, I want to make sure I continue to do is post questions viewer questions um, at, towards the end here. So recently have released a new series called Cool Linux Tools. The first episode of that series included PDF Shuffler or featured PDF Shuffler. So we have two questions from that video. Now the Linux, I am totally impressed by the viewers, subscribers, people who uh, frequent Linux Quest. You guys are awesome and there's an expansive knowledge there that really encompasses people from around the world. We have viewers from Ecuador to Germany to Ireland. Um, again, viewers all around the world. There's a wealth of knowledge there and I just love the fact that I see people sharing that knowledge with tips and hints and feedback and it's very positive stuff. So that is awesome. So that's my hope here with viewer questions that, you know, I'm very limited on my knowledge and I focus on particular things. So my hope is that you the viewers can help one another and so the first question here is do you know any PDF software that is capable of asserting stamps slash signatures it's possible to do with Adobe Reader or Foxit Reader but the AUR versions are a joke and offer only small fraction of functionality I checked a lot of Linux PDF programs, but so far I couldn't find even a one that would have that capability. So, if you are into PDF software or know of PDF software that would cover this viewer's question, 
uh, please put that in the video comments. That would be greatly appreciated. And in the same vein, question two, do you know of any other PDF applications on Linux that would let you create and edit form fields like in Acrobat Pro? This is my main hang-up in not switching to Linux at work. So I want you to think about that question. It sounds to me like if he could overcome this one obstacle here, here, it's quite possible that the viewer would be able to totally switch over to Linux for work. And that's what we want. We want to see more people using Linux. So again, if you are aware of anything that would um, you know, be something that either of the viewers with these questions should check out, uh, please put that in the comments below. It would be greatly appreciated. Well, that's it. That's another wrap for QuestBite News. Thanks for watching and subscribing and sharing. Take care.